YouTube, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone has had a good day or will have a good day. Um, I'm, being, I'm bringing you back today another mid fade. Uh, so, getting right into it. To start off, I'm wetting the hair and I'm gonna begin to comb it through, make sure it's properly um, damp. That way, I can maneuver it with the comb and then cut it with the shears. Usually, what I'll do, I'll begin by sectioning the sides as you're seeing right now. I'll make sure I try to keep my work neat and then I'll work on um, clearing some of the lengths from the edges that way, that way when I come back with the clipper I'm able to um, cut straight into it And you're going to want to follow this through the whole head that way you can make sure that both sides are even and that one isn't shorter than the other you can always double check that by placing the client right in front of you and then pulling the hairs on the right and the left side to the side and then seeing if one feels longer than the other or not But yeah, and then once we have that clear, we'll move on to the top. There's many ways so you can go ahead and cut the top um, depending on the shape of the hair that you want to keep. Um, also, how much length you want to keep, if it's a comb over, if it's a slick back. For this case, it was more of a slick back, so I'm starting off by creating a section right down the middle and then cutting off the desired length. And then once I finish running that through the whole head, I'm going to comb everything back together, make a part again right in the middle. And this time pulling some of the hairs that was cut to each side and then just bring that up and then I can match that to the hair that's longer and follow that through both on the right and the left side and then at the end you just want to go ahead and double check your work make sure that you're even on both vertical and horizontal ways I kind of covered this part, but I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I did on the other side. Here I just f had him face me, so I was able to capture with the camera. But yeah, cool. Once we finished getting that done, um, like I said earlier, you're able to just run the clipper and pretty much blend into what you already cut. So here I'm starting off with the number three. Later on, I believe I do come back and use more shear over comb or clipper over comb, whatever you feel most, com most comfortable with. But in here to start off the fade, um, just to create my base, I run a number three. And then from here, it's short enough where I can see what I'm cutting, but not too short where I've brought the fade too high up. So to start off, since I said it was a mid fade, we're going in with our gamma hitters, going following the guideline straight to the back of the head they bulking as we go there's many ways you can start this guideline too you can make the line all the way through and get your detachable clippers or whatever you want to use to debulk but i think for this haircut i went in parts so i made the guideline and then i debulked as i made it But to make your work, your life easier, I guess, for you, um, as you go making this skyline, you just want to make sure you're very neat, get any hairs behind the ear. Um, that way, when you go back in and pass the shaver, everything is short enough so that the shaver doesn't pull any hairs and cause any discomfort for your client. Then moving on, I'm grabbing my wall cordless seniors and I'm going ahead and make my first 
um, guideline with them, which would be the lever open with no guard. So this is almost equivalent to the half. And then moving on, I'm gonna go and grab my number one and same thing, my lever open. So my lever open means that my lever is parallel to the clipper itself. When I say closed, it's because the lever is uh, pushed up the highest that it can go. And then after my number one, I'll go back in with my number two. I believe this time it's with the lever closed just because the number two is pretty big. And then moving on, I actually skipped my my number one and went straight to the half guard to fade out that um, line in between the half and the number one. And you and you'll see that I, the side of the head, the very top, is still. Um, it almost looks like it's, it's just a, a bow cut, but like I said earlier, at the end I'll go back in with clipper or comb or shaver comb to knock that out. But for now, I just want to get um, clear with the fade, make sure I knock everything out. And when you're doing this step, you, you want to be real careful. You can start with the lever open and then kind of just play with your corners and go in different directions. That way you can clear out most of that line that you created. And then once you see that the half isn't cutting anything, then you can drop it down by slowly closing the lever. So again, closing the lever, you're pushing it back up. And then you'll begin to see that line to fade out. You'll most likely have to come back in and detail later with the number one or the half part not got any dark lines but for now like I said I just want to finish the phase so I'm going back I'm going back now with my um, seniors again this time with no guard to knock out that very first line that we made with the trimmer and I have these seniors um, pretty pretty gapped in order for me to be able to knock out that guy line without having to come back with the trimmer there will be times depending on the hair texture that I do need my trimmer to come back most of the times I usually just do it just to be even more detailed but for the most part closing the lever and then playing with it and going up will knock out this line and you can kind of see that at least for the bottom part the fade is coming together and then from here all we'll need is to connect it to the top and then detail any work and line them up and we should be good so as you can see I'm going back in with the trimmer like I said just to knock out that any line that I might have left that the seniors couldn't take out So yeah, I believe here I came back in, like I said, sheer over comb, get rid of any of that um, dark line that I was on top, any bulk. And again, for this step, you were easily able to do other steps, such as what I'm doing right now. So going with back in with the higher guard from a number two, maybe you want to pull a number three and a number four and go as needed and then go back down again to fade down. Or you could just use clipper over comb and that makes it easier for you. Clipper over comb can be tricky though, because if any wrong uh, movement and you can <laughs> patch, up, patch up your client pretty bad, so you want to be careful with that. So yeah, I believe we're almost pretty much done. Just want to go ahead and take care of any any last minute details that we might have missed. Every haircut is going to be different, so you're going to do steps that are different from one haircut to the other. But for the most part, there will always be a base set of steps that you can follow and that will try to keep you consistent. Obviously, like I, like I like to say, um, play around with many different techniques, combine them, and then see what you like from each one, and then pretty much make your own technique, and then you go from there. But yeah, YouTube, this is pretty much how he came in at the beginning, and this is how he left. He's checking himself out right here, but I think he came out pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.